Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. No. 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 Yes! Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire, and I am super excited to be scrutinizing this video today. Someone told me I needed to check out this video as soon as possible, and I know both of these dancers have a reputation of creating fantastic pieces of choreography. So without further ado, let's jump right into this, and then I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on it afterward. Let's go. Now guys, I gotta admit that this routine moved me emotionally, but not as much as it did intellectually. Let me explain what I mean by that. As a, as a dancer, let's say more as a modern dancer, it's really, really hard to appreciate art for what it is. I think I'm a product of my generation and we tend to appreciate things because they're new, not necessarily because it's high quality or because it's good or because it took time to develop and, and a tremendous amount of discipline. No, we just want it because it's new and then within two or three weeks, we're on to the next thing. And I have to admit, I'm a product of that, but I don't feel that way about this particular performance. What I love about these two dancers is that they came from a different period of swing dancing, but yet they kind of crossed over into the new generation. It's like me, I'm a Gen Xer, and I kind of grew up with you know analog, and by the time I was an adult, everything went digital. So I kind of got the best of both worlds when it came to my childhood. Now, when I think about these particular dancers, this couple, their influence came from like the second and third and fourth generation of swing dancers. And I think that's fantastic because they didn't have YouTube. They didn't have all those other great mechanisms to be able to share information with other dancers quickly. They had to go through the grind of being able to figure things out with discipline. They had to practice every day really hard to, to master things. And when I see this routine, right off the bat, I noticed that the, the movements themselves don't seem very complicated. In fact, they remind me of the second generation of swing dancers. 
Now, back then, of course, the movements were all new, but for us, they might seem simple because we're always thinking about new ways to move. And I'm talking to myself, particularly. But I'm gonna tell you what I liked about them is that it reminds me of the Beastie Boys. Like the Beastie Boys is a hip hop group here in America. They've been around for like 40 years and they, for whatever reason, stay in their lane artistically. They do the exact same style throughout the different decades, but they vary up how they actually do their style in a way that makes you still engaged with whatever it is that they're bringing out. And these two dancers kind of give me that feeling whenever I see the choreography. I can look at it and go, yeah, maybe I can do those shapes, but can I make them look that good and with that amount of quality and that with that amount of rhythmic maturity because of all their hard work? And I can't say 100% I could, but I think that's a good thing. I think I kind of miss having that feeling in swing dancing where there are dancers who came from a different era who are still participating in the dance and yet you still have new dancers that are coming into the dance and there's no technology. You don't have the ability to share ideas. I miss that ability for that, that culture where people had to actually work a little bit harder to produce things. And so I'm gonna tell you, I love the quality of their movement and this, this routine. I love the quality of their, their choreography where they position the hand claps. They're not in the most conspicuous places that we would normally wanna hear uh, as modern dancers. They were put in places that kind of mimic drummers. And I love that. I, I, and you know, I'm kind of a rhythmic dancer, so I hear the spots where they were clapping. I'm like, that's not a dancer clap, that's a drummer clap. And I think that's really, really cool. And, and it made me appreciate this song a little bit more. So I gotta tell you guys, he's one of my, Zacharias is one of my favorite swing dancers. And in, in, in fact, he's my favorite Swedish swing dancer. I gotta admit that. Um, because there's just a, there's a genuine rawness to his dancing. I don't feel like it's formulaic. I don't feel like it's highly influenced from the modern dancers today, but I do feel like there's a genuine love for what he's doing in this routine, and it feels real and authentic. It almost looks like they didn't have to practice this very much because it just felt so real. Now with Frida, I gotta tell you, I respect her because her whole brand, I feel, is best served when it's with Sky Humphreys. They both have done so much, particularly in the area of routines. There's, they have some of the most influential routines in the modern swing dance era. And it's really difficult to be able to be recognized as an individual without that brand. And I gotta say, when I watched Frida in this routine, I didn't see Sky and Frida. I saw Frida. I saw an individual who was able to augment her style a little bit and still not lose the quality. That's really hard to do. Not everybody can have a separate moniker artistically uh, for themselves and easily be able to uh, acquiesce to that on call. And she's really good at that. Really, really good. I, I mean, there are other dancers who do it more often, but when she does shift and do different choreography with different dancers, it's really, really impressive, particularly in this one. I was super impressed. Man, and, and, and this is inspiring for me. It makes me almost kind of want to find out what my time capsule for style is going to be and just stay in my lane, but I can't do that. I don't have the discipline to just stick to one thing. I, I can't. That's just not who I am as a dancer and artist. I'm always coming up with new things, but I like what they've been able to do and how it's made me want to work hard at what I do. So hopefully um, it was inspiring for you guys like the way it was for me whenever I see them dance. So let me know what you guys thought about this one in the comments section below. I'd love to hear it. Um, if you guys are interested in learning some of those older um, swing dancing influences, I've got a lot of stuff that I put together for free. You can check out some of those free courses below. Got some uh, movements and classes from some of the original swing dancers. I can't say original, they weren't the original, but they were like the second generation swing dancers. And uh, it will really bless you and really help you really kind of see where a lot of these styles originated from. So check that out when you get a chance. So what did you guys think about this? Well, let me know in the comments section below. If I don't see your comments below, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you in my class online. Take care.